What's up, nerds? Welcome back to my channel. So the video I'm about to share was put together by EdTech Magazine. Um, actually, if you look in the background here, this thing right there, that frame, um, that's actually an article from EdTech. So they came out, they did a photo shoot, they, did, they interviewed us about our esports program, and they were so impressed with it that they actually sent a full uh, film crew to come out here and film a video about us. And this video does a really good job showing you what it truly means to be an esport athlete here at Ottawa University. So I wanted to share it with you guys, and uh, I'm going to throw it up right here. So this is the article. I'll link it down below. Um, it's called Why Ottawa University Built a State-of-the-Art Esports Arena. Um, and so it's mostly about like the tech kind of side of things, but it really just shows you what uh, what the program here is like. So I'm just going to go ahead. Usually esports is considered a club in most schools. We consider our players to be athletes. We work out two times a week, every other time we're practicing. So we take this pretty seriously. My focus on our program hey, here is to bring in gamers and develop them into esports professionals. In the esports market, you can either go on to have a full-time career as a player, you can go pro, you can go on to be a full-time content creator. If you're able to build a brand and an audience, we're in an age where you can leverage that to make a full-time living, and that's something that is very teachable. We have All right, I'm going to pause it there. Um, they cut out me saying the, but the number one thing is that you can get a job in esports, and that's what we want to uh, prepare kids for. So you can get a job as a pro, you can get a job as, as a content creator, uh, but the biggest audience and the and the more likely route is to land a job in esports and gaming. Just want to clarify. The tournament, sitting at winners finals and doubles. Let's get this bread. We're halfway through the game. Got twice their time. Nice uppercut. Fall behind. <laughs> In 2008, we had 14 programs in the athletic program. And we now have 30 with the addition of eSports. So a lot of our growth here being a small college and university has been adding programs and opportunities to be a part of something. That scene is pretty sick, right? I'm going to go back. I'm going to be honest. We reshot this scene like 20 and times to try to get it right, to and that was the only something. one that made we it. We knew the academic component and the major kind of cool. offerings <laughs> were important, but we also saw the landscape in terms of there being real career opportunities for students to develop, not only as professional gamers, but also to get involved in social content. They could really make a living and a career out of this field. Cisco Meraki is our primary partner that we use from the network side. We worked very closely with CDW to That's work really with cool Verizon AVL, which is the audiovisual provider. CDW really strived to understand what educational facilities need to be successful. Because gaming is so personal to me, it's kind of like it's coming full circle. A lot of my growth is based on gaming and being a part of gaming culture, and then to be able to give back to that and foster the idea of that culture for future generations. Adam's very well spoken, to be honest. We're on stage here in the Braves Esports Arena. One of the big goals of this space is making it a full broadcast studio. The first step of that is making sure we can record and watch everything and that's going player on cards, stage. Though. So the way that starts is right here we have a Marshall camera that's an actual SDI feed. The computers are going to output an HDMI, but we want it all to be the same feed. So those are all going to run into this giant box here and takes all those HDMI feeds and converts them into SDI, which is the same thing that the webcams are outputting. Now we're upstairs where all the production happens. Oh, it does get picked up. Looks like he's taking a lot of damage. The Black Magic this is a live video switcher. So at any given point, I can monitor on these two screens what cameras are seeing that just what, looks cool. and then this all gets then outputted to our stream. We knew that we wanted this program to be different. We wanted to set ourselves apart. Understand your market and understand what you're trying to achieve because you have to have the infrastructure and the talent and knowledge behind it. The job market is already transitioning to a lot more computer-based jobs, computer science, IT. Esports lives on there. From my standpoint, success is job placement after graduation. Right after I finish college, I plan on going pro, compete as much as I can. I love this video. All right, we'll pause it there. That's just a that's just a really good video, honestly. Um, I think what that video does really well is it shows you uh, what it means to be an esport athlete. Like the, the it's it's when you come here on a scholarship or any college program, 
you know, you're going there on a scholarship, you're going there to compete, and this video just captures what it looks like to play on a stage and to, uh, you know, perform at a high level in front of people. It's just really, really cool. Um, and I think what this video does, and I think what our program here at Ottawa University does so well, um, is really shows what it what it true what esports truly is. Like these kids get a full sense of what it feels like to be a professional. Um, but at, you know, at the college level, they get to play on a stage, they get the lights and the fog and, um, they still get, you know, amazing competition. And I honestly am just really, really excited for next year, the level of talent we've got scouted and, and coming in for next year. Um, we're still doing tryouts and, and we're running into some amazing players for a couple new games we're adding. I just, everything, like, I, I truly think 2020, the school year, uh, is going to be our year and it's going to be when we break out where I know we're going to win a championship. I know that we are going to solidify ourselves as one of the top, if not the top program in the country to watch because it's, uh, it's going to be a big year for us. And I think this video is a great start to it and showing you what it means to be a Braves esports athlete. Um, hopefully you guys thought so too. I'd love to see your comments down below what you guys thought or if you have any questions or anything like that. Um, otherwise, kind of a quicker video, but I wanted to share this because it's really cool. Like I said, link for the full article is down below. Go check them out and I will see you guys in the next video.